Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video and would like to see more, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm going to be talking about the newly launched Tom Ford eyeshadow palette. So this is the Mercurial eye palette and it's from the Tom Ford Extreme collection. So I managed to pick this up a little earlier than was meant to be launched. I have the palette on at the moment as you can see and in this video you'll be seeing how I came up with this look. This palette can be used wet and dry. I've applied this in the dry formula but I will be showing you the wet formula later on in the video and how that will apply as well. However, I wanted to show you this palette. This palette is beautiful. So let's open this together. So what I love about Tom Ford is everything feels luxurious and lovely. As you can see from my previous video, when I did the Soleil collection for the holidays, that was in white packaging. And this is in the silver packaging, which is part of the Tom Ford Extreme collection. And the eyeshadow is in the gray sort of pouch. So let's have a look together. So we're gonna open this up. It is stunning. So you've got it written at the back. So it's the quad Tom Ford I Quad Extreme in 01 Mercurial. And I love the name. The name reminds me of Mercury. So there's a bit of a play on the word, I think, of Mercury. And when you open the palette up, it's got the lovely colours. So I will show you those. You get the usual sort of brushes in there as well. The colours are absolutely stunning. So you'll see shortly how beautiful it is close up. As you can see, these are the four colours. So you've got a sort of more highlighty colour here, more sort of peachy pink colour, sort of burgundy colour, and then a sort of reddish colour there. It is such a beautiful palette. And I swatched this in store at Selfridges. So I wanted to show this to you in case you were thinking about getting it. As you can see, the colours are gorgeous. What I will do shortly is I will make sure that later on in the video, you will see swatches of these wet and dry. So you can see the difference. So I'm going to apply this initially dry as a look. I will try and apply it as a wet look as well. But as you can see, it's absolutely stunning. The colours are gorgeous. I absolutely love the colour scheme for this particular collection. I think it reminds me a little bit of Honeymoon and uh, Body Heat, which I have as well. And I haven't done videos on that, but I will be. I think the colours are quite similar, but they're not exactly the same. But I will do future videos with some sort of comparisons between Body Heat honeymoon and this one so you can see if you've already got those palettes uh, whether it's worth you picking this one up however it is really really stunning and this one I believe is limited edition I'm really really pleased I picked this up let's uh, do some looks together shortly and let's try the look uh, dry and then we'll try the look wet and see how how they look as well as some swatches so please enjoy the rest of the video. Let's start off with the swatches first. So we're gonna do some arm swatches. I'm just gonna take the first color, which is here, and I'm just gonna swatch that on my arm now with you. So this is the first color. And then I'm going to move to the next color, which is this one here. Gorgeous. And then I'm gonna move on to the lighter color, which is here. And then finally, the colour here, right at the end. So these are all the swatches dry. And I think you can agree, this is going to look absolutely stunning on my skin tone. I'm going to do these swatches wet as well. But let's do a look with a dry look first with, the, with these on. So I've decided to move in a little bit closer so you can see me applying the wonderful palette that is this one. So I have my Sonia G brushes and we're just going to see how it looks like on dry. So let's try out a dry look now. I'm gonna use this color as a base. So I'm just gonna tell you now, it feels really, really buttery on really, really lovely. And then I'm gonna go into this color now. 
and you'll see that on top. The thing with Tom Ford, and I have to tell you this, and I think a lot of people that who have bought Tom Ford will know, the colours blend so easily together. Like, that was the first colour, then I put the second colour on top, and then now I'm going to go in with uh, this colour, this darker colour. I'm going to put that in my outer V. It blends so beautifully together. And then what I thought would be fun, I might mix the two together. So I'm thinking perhaps I might mix these two and create a sort of liner underneath. So I'm gonna go in with the red a little bit and then a little bit with the darker color. And I've got that here. It's really, really pretty. I'm just gonna go in with the same. It's so, so nice. I think with Tom Ford, you really do get what you pay for. So I'm just gonna go in and use this color here as a highlight color on the inner corner of my eyes. So I'm just gonna take the lighter color here, just there, and I'm gonna use that on the inner corner of my eye as a highlight shade. Oh, that's so pretty. Really, really nice. And then I'm just going to take that highlight and I'm just going to put a little bit on my brow bone. Just on the top of my brow there, just to give it a little bit of an accent. Same on the other side. And then just take a little bit and put a little bit on my cupid's bow. Just there, and then just a little bit just on the center of my face, just to, on the bridge of my nose, just to bring out the highlight a bit. Just like that. And oh, I just can't get over how pretty these colors are together. Um, and, you know, I mean, just for fun, I mean, you could even go on top a little bit. So I could take, I could take the more creamy color again, which is the lighter color and just blend it into this color that I've got already just to accent it out and just put it, just to make it pop a little bit. To be honest, the colors work so seamlessly together there. It's so, so pretty. Then I could just take a little bit of the reddish color, which is the corner, the one here. And I'm literally just gonna go just a little bit, give it a little bit of pop. on my actual lids. But, oh, it's just so, so pretty. I, I just can't get over how nice they blend. I just love it. It just blends so seamlessly, so, so pretty. Done my brows just so they look a little bit more defined. I'm loving this, this eye look is so, so pretty. Okay, so now we're going to try and apply these, these eyeshadows wet, but I'm going to do some swatches on my arm first while they're wet, and then I will do the wet look. Here are the wet swatches. So this is the first one. Here is the second color. Here is the third color. And finally, here is the fourth color. As you can see, they're a lot more pigmented when they're wet. So this is gonna be really interesting to see this look on my eyes. So let's do that next. Just to show you how I'm going to wet the brush, I'm gonna use my Fix Plus from MAC and I'm just gonna wet my brush. So we're gonna go with that color again in the corner.
So now I'm just going to go into the next colour, which will be this one here. And then I'm just going to go into that colour. I'm just going to wet my brush again. It's definitely more intense. Than it was before and then I'm just gonna basically do exactly what I did before under the eye so we're keeping the same sort of look just to compare the two so I'm just wetting my brush and then I'm gonna go in to those two colors like I did before And then I am just going to go in again, again on the lighter colour like I did before. Go in again and just pat it on the inner corner and then take the more reddish colour. Just done that and I'm just taking that one now. And just blending it all together. It's definitely more intense. I can definitely see the difference. It definitely, being wet makes the formula that a little bit more sort of stronger. And then what I'm going to do is wet my brush again. I'm just using water for this. I was using my Fix Plus, but it's just a little bit pernickety. I'm just going into the highlighter shade, which is that corner one there. And I'm just gonna put that in the same area. Oh yeah, I mean, I think, I don't know if you can see that, but it definitely feels more stronger when, when you're doing like the highlight a bit on the inner corner when it's wet and then what I'm going to do is just take that highlighter shade a little bit on my cupid's bow and then just a little bit on the sort of brow bone it's definitely stronger especially for the highlighter with the uh, wet brush and then just a teensy bit again just going like that and I'm literally going to blend it out to the bridge of my nose and then just just balance it out there a little bit like that so just there's some highlight going on there this is the sort of more intense look I'm going to just put a little bit more lipstick on. You can see now how much more that is because I've just sort of enhanced everything and made everything more equal. But it's a really beautiful blend. It is really pretty. You can intensify this for the evening and I think this would work really well just because the colours blend so beautifully together. And as you can see, I decided to use a really neutral lip because I didn't want that to distract from the eye makeup. I love this. These colours just blend so beautifully. They all work really well together. I don't know how Tom Ford does it, <laughs> to be honest. I really, really like that. So this is the wet look. I think you can see that better, but that is the wet look. And I can't pick now. Before I went and sort of retouched everything, I thought that the dry look was 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 just as good or if better. But now that I have retouched everything, I actually think that they both look beautiful in different ways. I love the intensity of it being wet and how they blend so well being wet. So, you know, I think, I think I'm on the fence. I think I like them both, wet and dry. So that is my verdict. Gorgeous. I think this will look beautiful for a bride and this is a great sort of neutral, natural look.
So that is the wet and dry look that I have now shown you. I believe that this is probably one of my favourite Tom Ford palettes at the moment, just because it's so versatile. You can use this day or night. It's suitable for all sort of situations. And at the moment we need sort of something that will kind of be good for any occasion. And I believe this is the kind of palette that would be. I think you could easily vamp it up so I could wear a darker lip in the evening and really make this sort of stand out. The eyes would still be really nice, you can smoke it out if you wanted to and yeah there's just so many looks you can create with this palette. So my overall verdict is that I think this palette is fantastic. I think that you can experiment and play with different looks and you can use it wet or dry and there's just so much versatility around this palette. I think Tom Ford has excelled himself again the colours blend seamlessly, the formulation is creamy, I love it. Please let me know your thoughts, I'd love to hear what your comments are. Have you bought this? Are you looking to buy it? What do you think in comparison to other sort of palettes that he has? So like I said before, I think this is very similar to Body Heat and potentially to Honeymoon, but it would be really good to hear your thoughts on that as well and what you think about this palette and how it looks on my skin tone. Please let me know, I would love to hear your thoughts please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.